Coffee's not half bad today. Hey there. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what do we got with the cryptocurrency market? Well, we got some slight recovery today, but I mean, yesterday, that was a real bloody Sunday, right? I mean, even had me worried for a bit. Um, we're looking at $68.8 billion for a market cap. I mean, this is, you know, this is definitely down from, you know, over the $100 billion that we were seeing. We've seen BTC prices drop to $18.26 for a low yesterday. Um, you know, I mean, it's not as bad as Tone Bays was saying that we could get down to the 1500 range. Uh, do I think that this is the bottom of the market and that we're on a correction? I mean, I have no idea, you know. Uh, I mean, Bitcoin and all cryptocurrencies are a speculated market. So, I mean, we got 4.1 billion traded in the last 24 hours. So trading volume is definitely up and we got a BTC dominance of 47.8%. Uh, you know, which is fairly high considering that I seen it over 50% at one point yesterday, which made me real happy. But I mean, now we're looking at it sliding back down a little bit and that's probably due to the exit into fiat cash. Uh, so let's run through the market here real quick and see what we got. And I got all kinds of news today too, right? Well, we got a BTC price coming in at $1,999. Uh, that's up 5.7%. Uh, I'm looking at an Ethereum price here of 161. That's up 14%. We got Ripple at 14.2 cents. That's up 7.4%. Uh, we got Litecoin hitting forty dollars and twenty six cents. That's up seven percent. Uh, yeah, I mean I seen it down around thirty two bucks yesterday. I think it was. Uh, we got Ethereum Classic coming in at eighteen dollars and eighty five cents. That's up five percent. We got Dash at one hundred and thirty seven dollars. That's up ten percent. We got Nem rolling in at. 10.3 cents, uh, that's up 9.3%. We got Monero hitting 31.99, that's up 7.5%. And we got Zcash hitting 130 or $165, that's up 12%. We got Steam coming in at 95 cents, that's up 16.6%. Uh, they were down in the mid 80s yesterday. And we got the Steam back dollar rolling in at 88.7 cents, that's up 6.8%. Um, you know, as I've been saying, I've been using the steam back dollar as a way to kind of gauge the market. And I, I see the steam back dollar here coming in at 88.7 cents. Uh, we're definitely fairly down here. <laughs> uh, we're fairly down here in the market. And, uh, you know, hopefully this goes to show that there'll be some growth coming here fairly soon. Um, so we got Bitmain. Uh, they've started running segregated witness 2x. Um, you know, this is some this is some controversial information and news of whether or not, you know, what's going to be happening with Bitmain and segregated or the user activated soft fork fork. They're saying that if, you know, the user activated soft fork gains traction, that they're going to split off and, you know, pre mine some of their own coin for several weeks before releasing it. Um, you know, whether or not this is true and whether or not they end up following through with it is another matter. Uh, but right now at this moment, we have, you know, box mining reporting that segregated witness 2x is running on Bitmain. Um, you know, and now we also have GDAX coming out. We have Adam White from GDAX coming out and saying that if the user activated soft fork gains traction that due to the instance instability in the Bitcoin network that we could be looking at potential freezes on Bitcoin trades and withdrawals, um, you know, on GDAX. So, I mean, this is going to add more to the FUD. This is going to add more to people wanting to pull out of cryptocurrency and back into fiat cash until after, you know, uh, segregated witness is fully adopted and we figure out what's going to be happening here. Because uh, a lot of people, they just they're not really, they don't have all of the knowledge that goes along with this technology. And when you don't have all the knowledge that goes along with this technology, uh, you know, there's certain key words and triggers that you don't understand that'll cause fear. And once you start having fear, then, you know, you have uncertainty and doubt, and then you just want to pull out of the market completely because overall, most people are just looking to protect their value and their money. Um, we got the Albanian government also now putting out there saying that, you know, investing in cryptocurrency is you know, a high risk situation. They recommend more that you invest in uh, stable commodities, you know, sponsored by their government and the banks, you know, the standard stuff. Uh, you know, this is, you know, every government's going to have to start taking a stand one way or the other because cryptocurrency is growing so large that, you know, it's starting to encompass everything. Uh, you know, most people are, are, have heard about it now at this point in some way or another, just whether or not it's been on the news or whether or not you see that it's on Google and the top 10, you know, most searched categories or whatever it is. And the last bit of news I got here is that Alpha Bay is down, um, that the guy from Alpha Bay has, uh, killed himself and, you know, this is fairly sad, uh, you know, but 
illegal markets. Uh, do I really believe that the Alpha Bay and the illegal markets have any type, any type of you know um, sway on the cryptocurrency markets? Of course they do. I mean, you're using cryptocurrency. I mean, that's one of the the truest markets that's actually using cryptocurrency at this time. I mean, there's you know hundreds of thousand dollars flowing through there in cryptocurrency every single day to pay for you know these illegal transactions that are deemed illegal by you know governments or whatever. And some of it isn't as bad as some say, and some of it is. Um, but these another market will just emerge. So I mean, did they really put a stop to it? No, they just ended this poor man's life. Uh, you know, whether or not this is some conspiracy behind it, I don't know. That's not for me to say. But I mean, it is sad that this man has taken his own life. Uh, and you know, another market will end up replacing Alpha Bay here. So. So if you like everything that's been going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to hit that subscribe button. I mean, it's growing around here. We just passed 1,900 followers on Steam. Uh, you know, we're well over 1,500 here on YouTube. Um, if you're not on Steam, you got to go over there. You got to sign up. Uh, it's a great way to get free cryptocurrency. I mean, everybody's on social media in one way or another. Uh, so why not get free cryptocurrency for it? Because if you're watching me, you're into cryptocurrency, right? So why not get some for free? I mean, it's way better than clicking a faucet or anything like that. Not that I don't click faucets as well. But, you know, hey, if you're over there, I'll vote my post at least. It's a great way to support the channel. Um, I also have affiliation codes down below if you're doing any Genesis mining to get you a 3% discount. It's another great way to support this channel without taking money out of your pocket. Uh, if you got extra cryptocurrency though, you know, I don't mind a donation. Uh, the donational addresses are down there below. Uh, it's an awesome way to support this channel. Um, you know, we're totally unfunded here. I do this as a hobby out of my spare time. Uh, so I'm, you know, completely unbiased trying to bring you guys, you know, uh, the information as I see it and proceed it give you my own thoughts on what's going on uh, I try to cut out some of the garbage news that's just you know fluff or filler for the other media get you your news in under 15 minutes every day you know and I got my free help desk service it's Eugene Forrest 20 at gmail.com uh, you know if you're watching this and it's for you if you got questions you just want to talk you know if you don't really know anybody else in cryptocurrency because that's why I started this uh, you know shoot me an email let's you know let's talk about crypto let's see what's going on out there let's see if I can't help you do something that you're having trouble figuring out and as always, you know, keep your Bitcoin safe.